Got her that time. Oh yeah, that's a giant. That's a giant. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yes baby. That is a giant for this lake, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. Sight fishing. That was so cool. Big old large mouth. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That is exactly what I wanted to do on this spot. No way. Finally got him. Finally. Finally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was worth the wait. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is actually part two to the previous video. I'm out here at the lake. I just got done filming one video and I absolutely smashed them. If you guys have not checked out that video already, be sure to go ahead and go check it out. It is the most recent upload. But today we are gonna go out and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Like I said, already filmed a video and caught a ton. I know I'm gonna catch some more and I think there's gonna be some big ones in the mix. I'm pretty excited, so y'all stay tuned. We're gonna see what we can get going today. If you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and start throwing our loose rods and reels in the water, see if we can get us a big old Billy Bass. All right, y'all, part two. In the last video, I literally stroked them, and that was this morning, and they're still biting like crazy, so I'm excited for today. It's been a lot of largemouth, got some spotted bass mixed in, and a couple really good ones. And if you haven't watched the previous video already, I actually caught a couple off a of bed, and they were pretty good fish. So, hoping that I'll run into a couple more on bed. I was looking around for them in here, but didn't see any. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of fan casting, just kind of looking around, and we're gonna see if we can get us a couple more bites in here. Then we're gonna move spots and. Try to find us some more bed fish because I love catching bed fish. Who doesn't love bed fishing? It's just so much fun watching them eat your bait. So much fun. Take my old little drop shot, throw it on around. I've been getting bit really good on a morning dawn worm just on my drop shot. And I've been catching some on the live scope, but a lot of them, honestly, I'm just throwing around and there's just fish that are feeding. I mean, they're coming after the bait. It's just a really good day to fish. It's like 75 degrees right now. I'm wearing shorts. I am living. Oh no, I think he took my worm. Definitely did. Must have been a dink. So what I've learned fishing today, since I was out here all day, is that spotted bass are up shallow but not as much as the largemouth. The largemouth are the ones that are up shallow right now. The spotted bass are still holding out a little bit deeper. They never really get as shallow as the largemouth. So anytime I see any on the live scope, most of the time it ends up being a spotted bass when I catch it. But if I'm just casting around at the bank and stuff or pulling up on bedfish, it's always largemouth. So I kind of get to pick and choose kind of what I want to do today. I see a pretty big mark out here. Let me see if we can get that one. But just out here having a little bit of fun catching some bass i'm gonna work my way up this bank right here we're gonna fish these trees and then we're gonna go ahead and move i haven't went far from the ramp at all today i've just been fishing around the ramp i was planning on going on up towards the dam but the way i've been catching them i don't think i'm going up there today there's a lot of them in these trees i've been noticing but most of them aren't super big. I'm fine with catching small ones, but y'all need to bite the hook, not just the worm. That's the problem here. There's one. Spotted bass or largemouth? I think spot. Yep, it's a spot. Fighting too. That's the one thing about spotted bass. They fight like crazy, dude. Especially on a spinning rod. Ain't a bad one. Ain't huge, but ain't bad. 
Nice little fat one. He was spitting up shad whenever I was reeling them in. That's what they like to do. I ought to catch one up here on this tree, right off this point. We got kind of a main lake point, and there's just a big old tree off of it. I don't know what that was, not a fish. Not this tree, that one. Maybe we'll get one on this one too though. But I think I can definitely catch one off this tree. Oh, he had me hung. Thought I had me a giant at first. <laughs> Told you I'd catch one off that tree. Ugh. What a pretty one, too. Old Spotopotamus. He was up shallow. I just love it in the springtime when you can call your shots. You just know where the fish are going to be at. Like... It's just so much fun. It's also fun catching trees, which is what I'm currently doing. There's definitely one sitting right here. That was a terrible cast. There's one sitting right here. Yeah, that was better. Still not great, but better. I'm working on it, sorry. Just started fishing yesterday. Golly, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Homeboy was feisty too, buddy. Feisty. Another spot apotamus. See you, dude. All right, last cast, then we're moving spots. We're probably not gonna move far, but we're gonna move spots. Unless I catch one, then we won't. We're gonna ride right up here, not very far. See if we can find us a couple betters. I was gonna go fish over there, and I still probably will, but the wind is ripping down through there. So there's no way I'll be able to see any bedding fish. Cause you just, you can't see them if there's a ton, a ton of wind. So I'm gonna fish here which is a little bit out of the wind in the back, which is where the betters will be at anyways. See if I can catch me a couple on the way in, see if I can find one or two in the back, back here. This wind is blowing, dude. I mean, good gosh. Last cast on this spot, I'm gonna go get sheltered from the wind. All right, y'all, we're at our new spot. I've never fished here before, ever. But we are out of the wind, which is good because I can actually see. If I was not going and looking for bedfish, it would not matter. I'd actually probably want to be in the wind, but since I'm trying to find a couple bedfish, we don't need wind. We need calm, so. I don't know why there's so many boats in here. Cause I ain't seeing nothing, Jack. Okay. All right, so I've been running up the lake towards the dam, just fishing stuff on my way up. But I haven't been seeing any fish on bed up this way, so. I'm gonna fish this one last spot right here, just fish around these docks. Um, it's a pretty good bank, I think, for spawning fish, probably. And if I don't see any here, I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way back down. I'm not getting as many bites up this way either. I'm not really sure what the reason is, but. Look at that, first cast on a new spot, get bit. I think it's a dink, but. Hey, new spot, first cast. <laughs> he is a fighting son of a gun though. 
Tell you that right now. It is a good sign. There's fish in the area. Big one. Maybe not big, but nice one at least. Dude, he was feeling like a giant. He's still a good one. Yeah, it's a pretty good spotted bass. Thought it might have me like a three pounder. He won't know three. Here we go, got us another one. That one ain't bad either. These things are shallow today, dude. Another good one. Ain't a giant, but ain't a dink. It's a keeper for the tournament that I'm not having. I mean, that fish is in probably three foot. Spotted bass hardly ever get that shallow. Like, ever. But I've... I thought that I got bit. Another spotopotamus. They ain't big, but they're fun, dude. I'm catching them. Oh, that one's a little bit better, actually. That's the best one I've caught on this stretch. I think. Ow, your teeth are sharp, dude. All right, y'all, this is the plan. I am going to finish out this set of docks. I'm gonna fish it down into this cove and all the way up to that point right there. This is a little bit more protected out of the wind, which is good. And, uh, after that, I'm gonna run back down towards where I started and fish some new water, of course, but I'm gonna go down there because I don't think the fish up here have started spawning yet. And I'm still wanting to get a couple of bed fish for y'all. So it's kind of the plan. Uh, all I've been catching up this way is spotted bass anyways, and it's been fun catching a couple of largemouth. So I think going down that way is definitely the best choice, but I am gonna finish this out, see if I can catch me a couple more spotted bass and, then we'll head on down that way, so. We're gonna try this one spot, which is right around the corner from where I had those bed fish. We're gonna come look down this bank, got some riprap, and I don't know, it's really not too protected from the wind, which is generally where the fish are gonna be at if they're spawning, but there could still be some. And then I'm gonna check this other little marina area. It's very similar to where I caught those ones, so hopefully I'll find some in here. I'm about to catch one. I can't tell if that's a better or not. Almost looks like it. I think we might have found a bed fish. It's a bed fish, it's just a small one, but I should be able to catch him. This is gonna be an easy bed fish to catch. I could already tell he was fired up like a second ago. He keeps flaring on it, he just hasn't ate it yet. Which he is kind of small, which is probably one reason why. Now my boat decides to scream. That boat noise is the worst noise I think I've ever heard. Keeps picking it up and moving it off the bed. Just eat it, dude. I know you're small, but 
you can still eat it. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna be honest with you, I could probably just put on a crawl and he'd probably suck it up real quick. Why are you so stubborn? He literally picks it up, puts it in his mouth, and I can't see because this isn't a white one. I should throw a white bait so I could see it because I don't think he's really gonna care. Clean my bait, clean off, dude. Clean off. Let's see if I can get him on something a little bit smaller. Maybe he can eat it the whole way. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Fish eats it, spits it out, and I catch a stick instead. What are the odds? Okay, we gotta change baits again. I don't know if he's got it all the way or not. He's got it in his mouth, though. Yeah, he had it all the way. Dude, that's a spotted bass on bed. I thought that was a largemouth. Yeah, it's a spot. Interesting. First spotted bass, I think, ever on bed. <laughs> Not a big one. But pretty cool to catch them on bed. I love doing that. And that, folks, is how you bed fish. Basically, figure out which bait they react to the best. And you can hit them in the side of the head to make them mad. You can hit them in the tail to make them mad. Or sometimes they're just so fired up, you just flip up there and on your first cast, they eat it. But more times than not, that doesn't happen. You kind of have to work them. Um, but it's a lot of fun watching your fish eat the bait. That one, you could tell, I threw that game hog up there. He... He had that one, he didn't like it at all, like as far as, he didn't want it on his bed, so he kept eating it. Well, I pulled it out of his mouth, and I think it was a little bit big for him, so then I changed up to that Rage Space Monkey, and he didn't really react to that one that good for some reason. So then I put on a Rage Menace, and literally like first flip in there, he picked it up and was swimming around with it in his mouth. I just couldn't tell if he had the hook or if he had the other part, so. I set the hook because he wouldn't drop it, and it turns out he did have it all the way, but you just kind of got to sample around and figure out which bait each fish wants to react to because every bed fish is different. None of them are the same. All right, this is it. This is going to be our last stop of the day. I'm going to fish like this all the way down, fish all those rocks. A lot of people over there fishing on the bank. I don't really want to get in their way too much, but it's also where I wanted to fish, so... I'll go over there, but be courteous. Oh, we got us one at least. Large mouth, small large mouth, but large mouth still. Any large mouth we catch is good in my book on this lake. Spotted bass just take over and the large mouth are hard to come by. But we have caught a good bit of large mouth today. Both in this video I've caught some and then even earlier today in part one, caught a lot of large mouth. Wasn't even going to stop and fish right here, but I figured I might as well look in here and see if I could see any spawning. What the world, dude. Took my worm. Got one to not short strike it. Woo! That's a large mouth. One tip, if you guys didn't know, you can, uh, usually you can tell by their lateral line, but in these clear water lakes, the lateral line's really defined for both. What you can do to check and see if it's a spotted bass is you can actually 
rub their tongue and if it's a spotted bass it'll have a rough patch you'll feel it. it's like sandpaper all spotted bass have it that's two Let's see if we can get one more ain't a bad one hoping it'll grow as he comes in this one's a spot little baby Whew. and we're gonna wrap up the day right here I just broke off my drop shot and it's about time for me to head on home I've been here all day woke up at 5 30 this morning and got on out here to the lake we had an awesome day today. Part one is an awesome video, so be sure to go watch that if you have not already. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The drop shot was putting in work for us, number one. I was throwing that loose TP1 X rod with a custom spinning reel, my favorite drop shot setup ever, and that's what was getting it done for me. So y'all be sure to go ahead and check that out in the description down below if you guys do wanna save some money on that stuff. Same thing with everything else that I was using today. Even if I didn't get bid on it, all the stuff I was using is stuff that I would normally throw this time of the year in the spring. I believe I also caught that bed fish on a Rage Menace. It was the summer crawl color. I'll leave it in the description down below as well. I'll leave all my favorite bed fishing lures down there. The Menace is definitely in my top five, but I've got a couple different ones and we should have some more bed fishing videos coming up very soon from the creek, the river, the ponds, and the lakes. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank y'all for your support. Thank you for tuning into the video. We'll catch y'all on the next one. A-dub out.